This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to prepare you for writing the Excel 2016 core exam by walking you through the practice tasks for Objective 2.3, Summarize and Organize Data. Let's get started. For our last tasks, we need to go onto our Sales by Region worksheet of our 2.3 workbook. I'm going to hit Control Page Down in order to move to my sales by region worksheet. Uh, in this one, we are going to use our subtotal uh, functionality. And what I'm going to do is let's adjust this to get it out of our way here so that we can see a little bit easier our ribbon. All right, now, again, I'm going to editorialize a little bit here. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of this example. Uh, and, and to be honest, I haven't been able to recreate it simply in the way that it's demonstrated in the results folder. Uh, however, uh, I'll show you what I've gone through in order to uh, to get what I think is pretty close. And, uh, and hopefully that will help you in the exam. So what they would like us to do is create subtotals using the subtotal feature of sales amounts, uh, first by the period and then by the region. So what we can do is we can collect in this array here, we don't actually have to select it as long as we've clicked within it. We're gonna now go into data. And in our outline section on the right hand side, we are gonna select subtotal. All right, now subtotal is, I don't wanna quite call it a wizard, but it is a little bit of a, of a smarter way of figuring out this data. So we wanna create subtotals of sales amounts first by period and then by region. All right, so for every change in period, we want to sum. What do we want to sum? Well, we want to sum our sales. So let's click OK. Now that we've done that, Excel has automatically provided this total here on the right-hand side. Of uh, So here's all the fall values. Here's all the spring values, summer, winter, and then a grand total of all the values. Now, where this falls apart is when we want to subtotal it by region. Uh, I've uh, iterated through this a few different ways, and I, and I haven't been able to have it provide me a satisfactory solution. Now, if this was a pivot table, and, and we're not going to cover pivot tables in this core, pivot table, this would be brutally simple. And uh, one of the reasons that people use pivot tables is, is because it makes these types of calculations so simple. Uh, so I'm going to do things in a little bit different order. I'm going to actually skip to the next requirement, which is to find the average sales by period and then by region. And then I will go through, I, we'll do it by period, and then I'll show you how I figured it out by region. So I'm going to, again, click in here. I'm going to click subtotal again. And one option you'll notice is replace current subtotals. And, and yeah, we're going to do that. And then basically, we'll take whatever's in here, the subtotals already there, and get rid of them. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to change from sum, and I'm going to move it to average. And I'm going to click OK. And so now it's very similar, except instead of the total, we now have an average value. All right, so I am going to undo this and go back to our original array. And so now I'm going to go to the region. And I wasn't happy using the subtotal outline to get this done. And so I'm going to do this in a different way. I'm going to select this array. Still in data, I'm going to go to sort. And I'm now going to sort by our region. Click OK. So now our data is changed in order. Instead of being all falls together, then all springs, then all summers, etc. It's now by region. Now I can go back into the subtotal. And I can do our sum by period or excuse me, at each change in region this time. So period is what we did the first time. Now we're going to do it by region with our sum. I'm going to click OK. And so now we have all of our northeasts with a northeast total. Lastly, we want to do the same thing with average. It's going to replace everything. Again, I still want my, uh, my subtotal with the, the sales. And click OK. And so now this is what you will see when you check the results folder is it will look like this. And, and despite my best attempts, this has kind of been the only way that I've been able to, to recreate what they have there. Um, I, I can, if you want to stay with me, though, I'll show you a couple examples of if we try things a different way uh, and, and hopefully understand the subtotal functionality a little bit better. So if we change this first option, so instead of each change in region and change it to period, 
uh, and then click OK. It's still going to subtotal for sales, which is our third column. But now we get a average after each change. So it changes from fall to spring. We get a subtotal. We get spring to summer, another subtotal. So I, I get a whole bunch of effectively useless data. So I wasn't happy with that. Now, subtotals, this is an area where maybe Excel isn't quite as bright. And then if I unclick sales and click region, what it does is it tries to give me an average of these words. And if I click OK, it tells me, well, geez, I, I can't calculate any average because there are no values in this section. So we'll go back to sales here. Um, and then we do have an, uh, we can even do a count, which is, which is kind of neat. Instead of going to region, go OK. So now it says, hey, we have four no, um, northeast uh, items. Uh, so, so there actually is a fair amount of uh, power and ability in this subtotal function. Um, however, it doesn't have that sort ability built in, so we had to do it externally. So thanks for watching. This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. I look forward to seeing you with our Section 3 videos.